Well, long last fall, about foreign shucking time, feller come along wanting to insure me in accidents for twenty-five dollars a week. Well, I told him I guess I'd had just about all the accidents a feller could have and live. I'd fell into the thrashing machine, had the well cave in on me, and the Lord knows what else. Well, he talked me into it, and so I took out the insurance. Loud, I might as well have it, and... Next day, I went over to help Ezra Hostun, who was building a new house. Well, Ezra, he sent me up on the fifth floor to take down a lot of brick what was up there. So I got a rope and the pulley and rigged it up and tied one end of the rope to a barrel and the other end of the rope to a beam down in the cellar. And then I loaded the darn old barrel full of brick and went down and untied the rope to let the darn thing down. <laughs> well, the darn old barrel was heavier than what I was, and it started down, and I started up. Well, I met it halfway, and it took a good deal of me right down with it again. Well, that was a first accident, and then I went up and hit the roof. That was a second accident. Darned old barrel hit the cellar floor and knocked the bottom out of it, and the bricks all run out, and then I was heavier in the barrel, and I started down, the barrel started up, and I met it again, and what it didn't do to me in the first place, it done in the second place. <laughs> well, that was a third accident, and then I hit the darned old floor, was a fourth accident, a rope flew out of my hands and barrel come down and hit me on the head and that was fifth accident. <laughs> well, I had it all figured out. I could stay in bed just about ten weeks and clear off mortgage on the farm. But that darn insurance man come around said it wasn't only one accident and by shouter that's all he'd pay me for. And I stayed in bed four days and got $18.36. <laughs> Gosh darned old insurance company anyhow.